Good evening, everyone. Straight to the point. I got an interesting new product I need to try out. This is the FCAR F506 Heavy Duty Scanner. This works on big rigs and it works on personal vehicles. Straight to the point. I got my trusty iPad right here beside me so I can uh, tell y'all all about this product. First thing we're going to do, we're going to take it out of the box. F506 Heavy Duty Code Reader. Hey, you can find this product on Amazon. The link will be in the description. So, because we're the heavy duty bag, it has the name of the company right there, as you can see, FCAR. Highly advanced technological company. Let's open it up. Let's get straight to the point. Inside, it does have Velcro straps to hold it in place. Inside, this trusty heavy duty durable case. We have the scanner itself. We have the user manual, various attachments, depending on the amount of pins that you need to, you need to use. We have two, two sets of cables in here. Hey, keep in mind, when you plug these pins up, it'll be able to draw power from your vehicle. So you don't have to worry about charging it up. It's completely portable. Here's the heavy duty, heavy duty truck scanner for all systems. You can check a lot of things with this man. I have my truck at the truck stop right now. I got to check engine light on. I'm going to do the test on it after I finish this presentation. Let's sit this right here to the side. Now that I got that out of the way, I have my trusty iPad right here to tell you all about this product. Now you can find this product on uh, Amazon. It's $299 originally, but you can save an extra $30. It's a coupon code on Amazon. You don't need to add it. Just click on it when you go to checkout. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about this, uh, this uh, item. The FCAR Heavy Duty Truck Scanner Packing List. This is what it includes. I just told you this. Six pin and nine pin connector and one OBD 16 pin connector. A color printed instruction for the tool, a USB cable for connecting to computer and upgrading online. Hey, works completely out of the box, completely out of the box. Hey, really easy to operate, navigate. Hey, keep this in mind. For diesel engines, you're going to use OBD. For cars, you're going to use OBD too when you hook this thing up. Hey, great Christmas gift. Top present choice for your father, husband, brother, boyfriend, or girlfriend, or wife, or auntie. Hey, gender neutral. Anyone can use this thing. Hey, something every truck owner will need. Hey, you don't have to go to a shop, pay someone a diagnostic fee. I'm not sure exactly how it is with big rigs, but I know my GMC, if I need to get it diagnostic on my GMC, it's $95 at a dealer. So uh, really not familiar with, uh, because my, my company that I work for, they take care of the diagnostics. So not sure about your true owner operators, how much that fee would be for you to go somewhere and get a diagnostics. But I did have one guy tell me that he bought one of these tools before. This tool was $299. He told me he bought this tool he said he used it once and it paid for itself for that one usage. So, hey, keep that in mind. I'm going to give you the type of type of problems that you could test out. Engine, transmission, braking system, airbag, headlamps, fuel system, air suspension, immobilizer, battery control, instrument panel. Works on most diesel HD trucks, read codes, clear codes, live data. Hey, keep this up. Hey, this is real important right here. Freightliner, Volvo, GMC, what I just said, GMC. Now, that's on our personal vehicle because you can't use it 
on class eight vehicles and class C vehicles. Okay, where was I? International, Isuzu, Kenworth, Mack, Mercedes. Hey, I can't name all, I'm not gonna name them all, but, oh, Peterbilt. I know y'all Peterbilt guys. I didn't forget y'all, I saved that for last. Peterbilt. <clears throat> hey, if you ever have any issues with this product, it is free to return it, get a replacement, refund, however you wanna go about it. Do you wanna know what's wrong with your truck before sending it to be repaired? Are you always doubtful about the high repair costs charged by the repair center? Will you feel helpless when your truck stops working halfway and cannot be moved? You have an OBD2 code reader for your car, but it cannot work on heavy duty trucks. That's the key. That's the key right there. I have a little small OBD for my for my for my personal vehicle. It's a little small Bluetooth handheld type thing, but it was not it won't it would not work on my big rig. So this is something, especially for you owner ops, lease operators. Just something for y'all to keep in mind. <clears throat> different connectors will be applied in different protocol. OBD 16 pin connector, diesel 9 pin connector, diesel 6, cat 9. Hey, it comes with all four of these plugs. You don't have to purchase anything else. Engine system. Always confused with the flashing check engine light. As a matter which occurs frequently, check engine light will appear because of various problems. For example, the engine injector should be cleared or engine combustion is not good. Diagnostics for SRS, airbag, occupant restraint is located at the body of your vehicle. Sometimes fault codes in this system will still appear and the warning lights flash after the airbag replacement. Guess what? You'll be able to clear this code. Anti-lock brake systems, part of the vehicle chases. Indicator warning light, which will remind you there is some issue with the ABS system. Couple days ago, <clears throat> couple days ago, had a bunch of snow going on. My ABS light came on on my GMC. Wasn't sure what was wrong with it. I was gonna take it to the dealer, but it went off after like two days. And I'm assuming it had something to do with that snow because I was out there spinning on the ice and all that. But luckily, I didn't have to break this tool out, but I, I was gonna diagnostic it. I was gonna run the diagnosis on it myself, but the code cleared on its own. Hey, what happened on my Tahoe? The transmission. The automatic transmissions is one of the powertrain control module, playing an important role in the vehicle. It's hard to locate the accurate error within limited time. You will need the F506 transmission scanner to pinpoint the issue of the transmission system at the reading default code. Next, the warning light will be turned off after the transmission code scanner resets. You should fix the problem first before clearing the fault code. On my Tahoe, the transmission went out. There wasn't nothing I could do about it. I sold it. Besides the diagnostics functions for diesel heavy duty, the truck diagnostic scanner also supports almost all cars. Read stored pending codes, clear trouble codes, read freeze frame, O2 monitor test, onboard monitor test, Hey, you can you can send a screenshot on this thing, man. You don't have to take a picture of it with your phone. You can actually it actually has a screenshot function where if you pull the code up, you want to show it to your mechanic. One button screenshot, send it to him. Hey, I want to reiterate, this thing is plug and play. It is plug and play, straight out the box. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take all the cables out, but you know you get the cable you need. That's all you need. Get the cable you need. Hook it up. Get the cable you need. Here's a connection right here at the top. Plug it up. Plug the other part up to your car. Turn on the ignition. Go to select. Select button is right here. Okay. Start diagnostics. Simple as that. But hey, if you don't know, once you plug it up in your vehicle, you do have to cut the engine on after you plug it up. That's when you'll start seeing the power on this thing. Only thing left to do now is to actually go test it out. And I'm gonna show you. I have a code in my truck right now. It's been on for a while. I can't remember exactly what the mechanic told me it was. I can't, I can't remember what it was. It was probably like two, three months ago that he told me. But now that I have my own OBD scanner, I'm gonna to get to the bottom of this problem myself. So 
Let me change clothes and I'm gonna go ahead in my truck and we're gonna test it out. Game time, fellas. L506 heavy duty code reader. Let's test it out. My heavy duty travel case. How about that? Can't put a price on versatility. Got a little chilly. Well, it's a little chilly outside, so I had to put on my sweater since I just opened my door. But check this out. It comes with two diesel plugs. It says it up here, diesel. Six and nine. So depending on your vehicle, you gotta choose six or nine. I'm in a Freightliner Cascadia. So I'm gonna be using the nine, but the six and the nine are all on one plug. So I'm gonna be using the nine. So I'm about to hook it up right now. I already have a code coming up on my truck. Not sure what it is, but I'm gonna check it out. Hey, it does come with a user manual. Comes with a user manual. Now check this out. I give y'all a hint. I'm not a mechanic. I'm just a trucker. I don't know a lot about diesel engines. I don't know a lot about trucks. I just know the basics. So I'm telling you this because if I can do it, anybody can do it. It's that simple. All this is right here is just an adapter. That's all it is. Nine pin. As soon as I plugged it up, you see the screen cut on. You see the screen. You see on the screen, the first option is diesel o OBD. All we did is hit okay. If you scroll down, look, I'm gonna go back up. We have diesel six and nine, diesel green nine. I actually do have a green nine, but since I have a Freightliner and it has my Freightliner on the menu, it says Freightliner green nine pin, 2012 to 2015. But I have a 2017, so we're gonna go with diesel green. We're gonna do a complete scan. We have vehicle information number one, standard protocol, fast scan, standard protocol, complete scan. We're gonna do the complete scan. Loading, please wait. I'm gonna go ahead and see it says start test right now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the power on to my, to my vehicle. Just the power. Not going, I'm not going to start the engine, just, just a little power. So let's hit OK. Start test. Initializing. Please wait. Man, this is super easy, man. This is my first time doing this. And, hey, I thought I was going to have to watch a YouTube video on how to do it. But, hey, it's pretty self-explanatory. If I could do it, anybody can do it. I'm about to hop in my driver's seat and sit down for a little while while it's waiting. Not sure how long that's gonna take. I did a vehicle information scan. I can see my engine average fuel economy, 6.6 .6 miles per gallon. I guess that'll come in handy for uh, fleet owners who wanna test your drivers out, make sure they are keeping that foot off the pedal. Just got finished scanning. You see right there, it says active diagnostic trouble codes. I'm about to read them now, so I'm going to hit the OK button. All right, so now that we got the vehicle information, now we're going to read the fault codes. Read current fault code. 
No fault codes present. We're gonna try one more. No fault codes present. So this little thing that's coming up, this is actually not a check engine light. The check engine light is right beside it. So I'm not showing any codes present. The only reason I know about this light right here is because the mechanics right here where I'm at, at the terminal, they put a laptop up to it. They pull something up. But that check engine light, it's not a, uh, check engine light's not on. So there you have it. Heavy duty code scanner. You can find this on Amazon. This one right here is like uh, $299. But if you go on Amazon right now, you can save $30 off. So let's say 300, take off 30, 270. If you're a prime member, you probably get free shipping. If not, you probably spend like 10 bucks for shipping. But it pays to have Prime because I use Prime and I order a lot off Amazon. So I hope this video helps out with somebody. It damn sure helped me out. And if I ever see any of y'all at the truck stops and you need me to read a code or something, hey, just hit me up, man. I got you. Don't waste your time going inside the Loves or the Petro. You don't see a lot of shops at Pilots. But, you know, Love's got Speedco, TA, Petro. They got their own little shops. If y'all see me at the truck stop and I got time, like, hey, hey, flatbed game, big snow. I got a code coming up. Hey, come read the code for me. I got you, man. Because I figured it out now. It only takes about five minutes to read that code. This thing moves pretty quick. So, flatbed game, I love y'all, man. Keep on trucking.